and welcome back to more Paper Mario. So last time we fell for a really obvious uh, trap and ended up in this underground cavern. This time we're trying to make our way out and uh, there's this little side path I'm kind of curious about. By the way, uh, we picked up a shooting star so we're gonna use that right away because that's a lot of enemies. And since we're limited to only using Watt for these battles, it's a little... it's a little scary, actually, having to worry about this many enemies and hope things work out. You know, this group would not be a problem if we had, um... If we had access to use Bombette, um, we could easily just use a... a power bomb and, uh, make short work of this, uh, arrangement of enemies. By the way, the one did not get stunned. Uh, I guess they can also turn enemies invisible. I guess the blue Magikoopas just kind of have access to, like, all of the other Magikoopa abilities. That's what it seems like. Um... So let's take care of the Magikoopas right away. And, um... Let's hope the invisibility wears off this turn, otherwise we might be in trouble. We have 32 HP, so... Um... I'm not quite in healing territory yet. I kind of want to get down to like below 20 before I heal. Um, because we're doing pretty good on health at the moment. Is this the right way or the wrong way? This looks like the right way. So I'm actually actually going to go back. Um, that makes sense. Actually, it's kind of clever having to actually fall down for the right path, and the wrong path being, or more like the optional path being, um, up here. That's actually, yeah, really clever. So, uh, because it seems like attacking the bony beetles caused them to swap between spiked forms and unspiked, I am going to opt out of attacking, uh, any other bony beetle until I'm in, like, KO range, um, like so. I'm also not sure if they do that if you manage to flip them over, so I'm actually gonna test something here, now that we're in the, in the clear, pretty much. Also, I guess because they're shelled, they do not take damage from Zap Tap. So let's try using a hammer instead of a jump, to see what happens. So, yeah, it's swapped over to Spikes, so this should not KO it, so it should go back to not Spiked. Interesting. There are a lot of enemies I'm not entirely familiar with because they're, like, game, and I feel like I don't usually, um, fight all of the enemies. I'm pretty sure in a previous playthrough I did, I actually hit, like, close to max level before here so I could skip all the enemies, so this time I'm opting out of that and instead trying to, um, actually level up as we go along. Um, yeah, the Flower Fields of Maisy Daisy uh, area is definitely the best level grinding spot in the game, and I opted out of that to avoid being too overpowered. So here we have a room with a block. Can we interact with this at all? We can. So when, when we move that, a, uh, a hidden pathway appears. Blah, huh? You came back. You escaped from that underground jail? But there was no way you could escape. Grr. Of all the dirty tricks, I guess I have to keep my word. You can go through. But don't think I'll forget this. Alright, that's door number one. And with that, we reach a little bit of a central hallway with a save block and three, uh, pathways. To be perfectly honest, I don't remember which is the correct path. I'm pretty sure this is actually not it, but it's worth doing anyway, even though this is optional. We have one single Koopa Troll, so no big deal here. Um, one more hit should finish it off. Let's try not even charging, see what happens. So yeah, if you don't charge, Watt does one damage. Not great. Um, two experience. So yeah, we're almost to another level up. Um, and that one drops. 
The prison key. A key to the prison in Bowser's castle. So with that, we can open up the cell and uh, see what these toads are up to. Mario, your main goal is to save the princess, isn't it? She must be doing okay, holding on to the belief that you'll come. The soldiers should have broken out to save her by now, but it's taken all of all our efforts just to protect the prisoners. What a shame. I come all the way from Tri Tri Desert to Princess Peach's party, and look what happens. I've been to some lame parties, but that was ridiculous. I want to go back to the desert as soon as possible. Mario, you're safe. Oh, I'm glad. Uh, we all got captured before we knew what was happening. A few people at the party were able to get away, but they caught most of us. I wonder where Princess Peach and the Minister and all the other guests are. I'm really worried about them. Psst, psst. The Toad House's slogan is refresh your body and soul. This isn't a real Toad House, but you can take a quick nap here if you feel like it. Uh, we are definitely gonna heal. These are difficult times. Please rest well, though. Did you sleep well? Then take care and go! Oops, shh. I should be quiet, otherwise they'll find us. So we not only have a heal, we have an in, meaning we have full star energy as well. Definitely keep this place in mind for later, um, because having uh, a really good heal spot is great. I'm not sure if there's any other places like that here. Uh, here we have a shop. What? Who are you, man? I don't know your face. Maybe you're Mario, huh? <laughs> Just joking. I'm the guard of this warehouse. I'm really, really bored, man. Hey, you know, if you've got any coins, I'll sell you stuff. Oh, you're loaded, man. Take a look around. I'll sell anything you see. Nice. Yep, this is the sore house of Bowser's castle. Why in the world are you here? <laughs> um... I can hold on to three more items. What do you want me to hold? Um... I might store the fried shroom, actually. It's a recipe, so it's kind of rare, but it's not very helpful. Um, I'm also going to claim the sleepy sheep, actually, um, for something coming up in a little bit. I think he said something about don't tell Bowser about any of this. Uh, I wonder how that Goomba will feel if he ever figures out that he basically helped Mario out. So this is clearly the right way to go. Surrounded by Magic Koopas and uh, Koopa Trolls. Oh hey, uh, a Bony Beetle. I am going to opt to uh, leave it alone for a little bit and try to get through the Magic Koopas first of all. Um, because Magic Koopas are comparably a lot scarier. So... Hopefully this stuns them. It did. I'm not sure if the uh, successfulness of the attack also dictates how long they're stunned. Wow, that was bad. Um, we're only at the final part of the game and I'm still messing up that action command. It's a bony beetle. They're bony buzzy beetles, hence the name. Max HP 8, attack power 3, defense power 4. It's tough to damage them. When their spikes are out, their attack power is 5. When they retract their spikes, take the opportunity to flip them over. After that, beating them will be a breeze. Good advice. Um... How do I want to approach this? I'm gonna do something a little bit risky, I think. So, so that uh, bony beetle is flipped over, and we are going to use multi-bonk to try to take out this magic koopa. Two more. There we go. Perfect. Alright, so now it should be smooth sailing. Gonna swap back to Watt. Um, there's a reason why Watt is one of my favorite party members in battle, because she just kind of decimates a lot of enemies very quickly. These enemies drop a lot of coins. Also, that's not good. Uh, that's really not good. Um... How do I want to go about dealing with this? I think I want to start out with a uh, Star Storm, first of all, to make it easier to take out... Actually, no, this is, this is doable. Um... 
I should have a multi-hit, right? Uh, I'm actually not sure if this is this is gonna take out the uh, Koopa Trolls, but this should work on the Magic Koopas at least. Wow, perfect. And 85. We're right back into level up territory. It feels weird gathering coins, but since we know there's a shop nearby, it, it's still worth it. Um, again, we're really close to a level up, so we're just gonna kinda burn through a bunch of uh, star storms and FP because we don't have to worry. By the way, there's also the inn, so doubly don't have to worry. Lacking Lesser is pretty good uh, for multi-hit in cases where uh, the enemies don't have a lot of defense because I'm pretty sure this only does like, yeah, 4 damage, so it's not as good as like uh, a power bomb, but you know, in a pinch it's not bad. Uh, for enemies with low HP it's great. Um, so yeah, even though I tend to default to just a small group of party members, a lot of them still have their uses in battle and on the field. Um, this looks like a puzzle. Alright, I remember this room actually. Um, not exactly how to get through here, but I remember the basics. Right here we have an obvious, um, swim panel. When we pull on this chain, we drop the water into the main hall. And with that, we're able to swim. Now, where are we swimming? That I'm not 100% sure. There's also a spring down there. Wait, that spring is how we get up to this ledge. Um, I assume we swim back here, and then do stuff in this room. There's another swim panel up there, so I assume we have to raise the water level up one more. Another spring. Is there anything hidden? That's kind of disappointing. Uh, if I were designing a level like this, I would actually hide something behind there because it's like... It seems like an obvious place to hide something. So gotta do the uh, spin jump and hit that switch. I think it's because Thousand Your Door tends to hide things really creatively. Like if this were Thousand Your Door, you'd probably want to go left uh, and find a badge or something. But this game tends to be a little bit less um, cryptic with its secrets. I also have like the slow go badge and a few others. Um, this game's focus is kind of interesting because it feels more well rounded. Um, I feel like Thousand Year Door almost has more of a focus on like exploring uh, because of how many chapters there are where the emphasis seems to be on that um, compared to like, you know, platforming. And here's the next castle key. Um, but yeah, I feel like um, replaying this game, I would say at the very least, as of the time of recording this video, um, to be fair, I think it's safe to say even in general, even though the latest game at the time of recording is not out yet, um, I feel like, in hindsight, this is the best are the most well-rounded Paper Mario, because the pacing of each chapter is pretty consistent. Uh, looking through the video files of this playthrough, it's like, yeah, each chapter takes roughly the same amount of time, which is really nice. They're all relatively short um, compared to Thousand Year Doors chapters, which always felt a little bit longer, uh, sometimes to the chapter's detriment. Um, yeah, I just feel like this game has like the best overall uh, momentum and pacing. Um, even though I do still stand by the fact that uh, I would say Thousand Year Door probably has higher highs, but also has lower lows. Um, well, this game is just a consistently great time. Okay, um, that really hurts. Um, bombshell Bill. What I'm gonna do is tattle with Goombario and then just tank a hit. This is a bombshell bill. Bombshell bills have such beautiful gold casings. Of course, if you sit in my room, you'll get hit. Max HP 3, attack power 6, defense power 0. Pay attention to their, their HP because their explosions get bigger as their HP drops. 
Let's take him out before they get near us. We're gonna level up off of this, so no worries. Um, so next would be BP. Uh, so we might want to go through our badge loadout really quickly. Um, to get through here, my advice would be to use bow and just kind of hide or not. Um, let's see, 3 HP, this is no problem. They have no defense, right? And that was, that's important to note. It's like, wait, we're gonna attack with bow. Do they have defense? In that case, they do not, so no worries. Uh, four, no, three star points, um, so working towards our next level up. Um, yeah, definitely try to hide uh, when possible because they hurt a lot. Um, I hope they have under 7 HP. That, that would be really nice, but I think they have 10. This is a, bi a Bebo Blaster. Bebo Blasters shoot a constant stream of bombshell bills. Max HP 10, defense power 4. They won't attack you directly. They're pretty resilient. You have to keep attacking them though, otherwise the air will be filled with bombshell bills and nobody wants that. Alright, so this is... a conundrum. Um... I... am going to attack regular regularly, actually. And the reason is, I want them to fire on this turn. Now that the bombshell bills are on the field, I'm going to use a Star Storm to hopefully wipe out um, the bombshell bills and do a lot of damage to the cannons. So on this turn, I'm going to use um, Watt. Once again, because armor piercing um, to take out that cannon, and then on this turn we'll use Mario. Oh, I thought it would fire another bullet bill. Um, we'll use Mario to just finish it off. I like these fights because they're not difficult. They're not particularly difficult, I should say, but they're definitely not easy at this point. You definitely have to strategize a bit. Um, and now we have even more! Oh joy! <laughs> so you can kind of hear the cannons firing off screen. Um, so definitely keep that in mind. If you can time it really well, Bombet is great for dealing early damage against uh, Bombshell Bill Blasters. Um, unfortunately, uh, I find the timing very difficult, so I tend to opt out of that strategy. Um, Bomb Pet might be able to do enough damage against these. We have plenty of FP too. We have 40, so yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Um, I'm gonna just use Bomb Pet over here to power bomb and see how this goes. Three damage, perfect. So we have an easy fix uh, for next time as well, because I'm pretty sure there's a third row uh, up here. Yeah, I definitely heard a cannon off screen. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna climb up these steps. Try not to get attacked. Um, we could fight these- okay, there's like two more sets actually, it looks like. Um, based on the method of last time, we should have enough time to get through this. Uh, no problem. Except there's a Koopa Patrol now. Um, so we're gonna do the same strat as last time, Star Storm, then Power Bomb. Next time, we're gonna be in a bit of a pickle because we don't have enough star energy. <laughs> um, so we're gonna have to figure out something new for next time. So that'll be fun, but we'll, we'll worry about that next time. So take out uh, this row of enemies, and with that, um, 28 star points. Not bad. Um, with that, I think we're actually gonna call it here for now. So, uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you'll join me next time for more Paper Mario.